uh, campaigns to be put up against different segments. And if you're doing the same activity or speaking to them in the same way, or if you literally just can't afford to differentiate uh, your campaigns on, on a, uh, com in a complicated way, well then why have you got a segment model where you're trying to uh, 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 yeah, address those segment needs differently? Um, failure to align with programming. People often create segmentation based on what they hope is going to be programmed rather than what actually is going to get programmed. Um, you've really got to have some alignment there. Confusion. People actually think that just a database analysis based on behaviours and other indicators is a segmentation, and I'd like to suggest that it's not really. It's a, a little bit useless if you just get a bunch of numbers without some actions to go with those numbers. Um, and failure to act, you know, you can suddenly decide that, okay, I know how many two times frequency repeat single ticket buyers I have. I know how many donors I have who also buy packages. Well, you know, what are you actually going to do with it? Uh, so be careful that what you're looking for uh, in terms of segment difference is actionable. Um, one key thing I want from a segmentation, I want to go to market with it. I know I'm banging on about this, but it's not just theory. It's actual practice. You want actions. You don't want just insights. Uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, by putting the information you've, you've learned from your segmentation back into your database, you've got something a bit more long term, uh, something with a bit of life in it, um, and, uh, you know, and, and something that's, that, that's, that's changing, that's, that you can challenge your own um, uh, understanding of a, of a particular audience member if they're start exhibiting behaviours that don't align with what uh, you thought their segment was. Um, and, you know, again, I'll just repeat it, not overly complex. Criteria for segmentation. This is from the Full Houses book that uh, Roger Tomlinson and Tim Roberts uh, wrote. And, uh, you know, it's just some, I'll, I'll, I'll just skip over it because uh, I'm sure many of you can down, have downloaded the excerpts of Full House that are available on the Australia Council website. If not, I'd suggest you, you should. Um, you know, what are the customers' points of difference? What are their similarities? Are there enough of those similarities and differences to group customers in a distinct way, in a quantity large enough to bother about? Uh, can the way that you define those customers be applied to your real day-to-day -day world, uh, day, you know, real world activities, marketing activities? Some kinds of segmentation that people do. I mean, behavioural is the one that most of us use every day, whether we're actually conscious of it or not. At its simplest, customer bought uh, event X. Uh, we think that has affinities with Event Y, let's market Event Y to them. Um, of course, mostly we have no idea whether or not they, when they went to see Event X, they actually liked it, or whether they hated it, or in fact whether or not it was even them, or they bought it as presents for somebody else. So there's always considerations to, uh, uh, to have when extrapolating uh, uh, you know, insights born of different behaviours. I mean, you guys will be familiar with the different categories too. I'm not going to uh, dwell